Lyle, are you in or are you out? You're, you're, you're worse than a cat. If I could have a word, sir. Yes, what is it? In private. If you'll excuse us, I'll, I'll talk to you later. What is it now, Lyle? I feel terrible about what happened. And you're telling me this because? I really think I ought to leave. It wasn't your fault, Lyle. We only lost one. But those kids, the radio said. There you go again, Lyle. You, 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 you work yourself up here, jumping to conclusions. Even I don't know what happened for sure. Perhaps it was our precious little T-Rex, perhaps. Or maybe, maybe it was just a wild animal. We could be guilty of criminal negligence. Don't be absurd. Accidents happen. Yes, of course, there was the unfortunate incident. The army had to shut us down. They had to, Lyle. It was government funding. They have to distance themselves. There were never any criminal charges, were there? No, but I... Lyle, we are so close. A dinosaur with a brain. A creature of superior strength, size, intelligence. We can train them to work with men. Land clearing, mining, shock troops. They could be pretty shocking, all right. I don't want to go to jail for second-degree murder. Oh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I don't have to remind you that you did sign a confidentiality clause when you came to work for me, huh? I know that. Of course you do. Well then, thank you. Thank you for your time. I value it. Before you go, there's one last thing that I was going to ask you to do this afternoon. It has to do with the training session of the Alpha T-Rex. Isn't that Karen's department? Well, normally, yes, but it was something that you said last week and made me think. I, I, I'm curious how it will react to the unfamiliar, such as yourself. And normally, Karen is working with them. So perhaps on the way out, you could just walk down the laser corridor and I could monitor it. I'd really appreciate it. Approaching the laser corridor now. Just keep going, Lyle. You're doing fine. Now remember, you're going to experience some discomfort because the area is climate controlled for the subject. Hot and humid. You're doing just fine, Lyle. Keep going. Now remember, I've got the T-Rex immobilized by the lasers. He can't move, but you can. Sinister enough? Maybe we should have called first. It's more fun surprising them. Yeah, who is it? This is Sheriff Tanner from the Vacca County Sheriff's Department. I'd like to speak to the person in charge. You mind if I ask what it's about, Sheriff? Yeah, this is a routine investigation. Yeah, okay, hold on, I'll check. He'll check. <laughs> Sir, we have a local sheriff at the gate. He wants to speak to the man in charge. Not here. Go on, Lyle. I'm still with you. Just keep going until I tell you to stop. You're completely protected by the laser barrier. Now reach out, touch it. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> see, just a little jolt. The barrier around the T-Rex is a hundred times stronger. <laughs>
know what to tell you, Sheriff. I looked all over for him. He's uh, nowhere to be found. And you are? Oh, I'm Josh McCoy, head of security. Well, Mr. McCoy, we've had some unusual animal attacks, and I was wondering... What the hell was that? Oh, that's, uh... That's just a fuel pressure control release. Uh, Mr. McCoy, would you tell, uh... Doctor. Dr. Hyde. Dr. Hyde? Yep. Would you tell Dr. Hyde that we're back tomorrow? I'll do that. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Did you hear that? Yeah, we both did. Two days ago at the murder site. It was lower, it was further away, but it's definitely the same sound. I haven't got it on my tape recorder. Which gives me an idea. He's coming back tomorrow and he may be a little bit more difficult to get rid of. Hmm. The problem is we don't know where he's found. He could come back with a search warrant. So what do you want me to do? Check him out. I want to know who the sheriff is, and I'd like to know some information about the woman with him. Shouldn't be a problem. And if he does come back, bring him to me. I'll take care of it. Why does this have to happen when we're so close? What's that? Lyle. He's quit. He quit? You just missed him. Well, he never said anything. He's gone to work for a firm in Silicon Valley. You know, Doctor, you should really get some rest. We have to finish this, Karen. You and I. <laughs>